Okay, may I have a motion to open our meeting? So moved. I'll second. second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we have the uh, minutes from uh, October 19th meeting. Yep. If you could just kind of look them over and make sure everything looks okay. Oh, my, my name is spelled S-E-N. Larson. Oh, did I spell it wrong? S-O-N is Swedes, and I, I ain't no Swede. <laughs> L-E-R, S-E-N? Yes, that's correct. S-E-N okay. is just right. Is it wrong on that paper? It's right on this one. Oh, it's wrong on here. S-E-N. Oh, oh, all right. Yep. But on the wrong phone on list, here. Yep. Is it right there on the phone list? Yep. Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah, I see where it's picked up. See, all the name means, believe it or not, in Norwegian or Swedish or anything else, is son of Lawrence. Mm -hmm. Larson. Son of Lawrence is what it means. And my maiden name is Lawrence. Yeah, well. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's one of the most common names in Scandinavia, but uh, they all sound alike no matter how they're spelled. That's the silly part of it. It's true. Yeah. Okay, so does everything look okay here on the uh, minutes? Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, and I still, uh, the Walden Lane, uh, they talked about it again last week at the conservation meeting. Oh, yeah. And uh, I've got my folder in the car. I've got to stop by and see that Pat Hannon and give him some of the paperwork that I have on it uh -huh. because he's still doing more research yep. on it. Mm -hmm. And they're debating whether they're going to turn it over to the historical commission or leave it with the park commission um when i talked to uh joanne at the board of health office she was trying to reach uh, them at the park department to uh -huh. discuss it with them well, i don't know they may turn it over to the historical commission hmm. yeah all right what what does that involve between Actually, Us. nothing. <laughs> I don't think it's going to involve anything. It's just that we felt we took a vote that we didn't want any motorized vehicles going down that road. Mm -hmm. And um, Eversource is going to look into either you know kind of some kind of a structure or gate or whatever. Yep. And that may not be right now either. That may not be till the future. I thought that they said if it was a public way. You couldn't put a gate or a fence or anything there in case someone was there and had a, let's say, a heart attack or a stroke, and an ambulance had to go down that way. Well, they, nobody's down below. If they put a gate where the uh, where Walden Lane starts, mm -hmm. the historical path, yeah, yeah. there's nobody living down there. Huh. So any ambulances or anything that wants to come in on Walden Lane, they've got wide open to go into anybody's driveway. Mm -hmm. okay. It's only from the sign that we have on the tree down. Got it. Okay. Uh -huh. But there's confusion there because the map showed that it, it was owned um, by the park commission. Correct, right. yes. Mm -hmm. And... I gave but, that to you. Yeah, but when they talked about it last week at the uh, conservation meeting, they also brought up again that whether we they should turn it over to the historical okay. commission where it's a historical path. I don't think it's going to make much difference one way or the other. No. I mean, uh, if uh, Eversource agrees to put a gate up, uh, they're only going to close that area off where the trucks go down. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. I thought they were trying to stop Eversource. Mm -hmm. That's the one that's trying to stop Eversource trucks. And yeah. Eversource is going to put a gate? Well, according to what Pat Hand mentioned at the meeting, is that Eversource has got enough money to do whatever they want to do. Mm -hmm. So they were going to ask them if they could put something there. You know, then one of the commission members brought up about the ATVs. Mm -hmm. You know, yep. they go around the side and they still go down there and raise heck. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, I don't know if we can even stop, you know, if you could stop, even if you put a gate, I don't know if you could stop them. Mm -hmm. They'll find a way to get through. Yep. Okay, uh, could I have a motion to accept the uh, minutes from October 19th? Sure. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Okay. Okay, yeah. When we were at the meeting for the Conservation Board discussing Walden Lane, mm -hmm. the Commission voted to stop our motorized vehicles from using the historic path. The Conservation Board said that they have a conversation with Eversource and hope they will put up a gate at the beginning of the path. Try to stop all motorized vehicles from going down the path. So we'll have to see if that's going to happen or not. Okay, I wanted to bring this up though. I don't know if Richard would remember this. Do you remember the old Elijah Toby house that used to be on Mill Road in the vicinity of a cushion sawmill hmm. in that area? No. No. That's, a, that's the picture that's in the history book. Yeah. <clears throat> now, is it still there? No, no, it's long gone. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Long when, when, when was it torn down? <laughs> well, <laughs> this is the 1860 to 1880. That's all before my time, <laughs> <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> yeah. But I recognize the picture because of the history book. Yeah. That's in the history yeah. book. Yeah. Well, anyways, I got a letter, uh, a call from a lady. Um, oh yeah, right here. From California, uh, interesting people that I run across. And three times over, her great, great, great grandmother mm -hmm. lived in that house years ago. She sent me um, all this information on the Elijah Toby house. Um, yeah, her name is Cynthia Mortensen, mm -hmm. and she lives in California. Yeah, Which is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, she's, go she's probably going to send me all the information that she has. Mm -hmm. This is, I believe this was mm -hmm. a letter her grandmother, the great-great-grandmother wrote. Yep. Um, yeah, the letter to Carrie Ingram from her Aunt Mary, you said Mill Road, mm -hmm. one eighth of a mile north of the bridge. So it's going to be in the vicinity of where Kusha Star Mills. That's the only thing I can see, especially where it shows it like on that hill. Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, now, which side of the street would that be? On the east. <clears throat> when you turn on Mill okay, Road. So the start the song will start. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So she sent me all this information. We had a nice conversation on the phone. And uh, and the letter that she's got there from Mary Ingram. Uh, she Got it undated, 1823 to 905, uh, 1905. She was wondering if it was still standing. And at first I thought it was because I had the wrong house, but it's not standing anymore. Uh -huh. See, it li lists all the kids from that doctor, Dr. Toby. Oh my goodness. This family goes way back, way, way, way back. But very interesting. She's got all this information, and she may just forward it to me one of these days to put in the museum. I had a lady Saturday come down from Rhode Island and brought me a, a doll carriage from 1800. Oh, wow. Got it in the museum. And it's, it's, it's still in some kind of shape. It's huh? in decent shape. I'll be darned. Yeah. And uh, when I was looking at all the carriages that we have up there, yep. there's a couple that say 1800 on the tag. Mm -hmm. uh, you can tell by the style, mm -hmm. you know, that old style. Um, yep. And another friend of mine, she called me today, 
She's got a stroller, um, I think a baby bed, and um, like the old fashioned walkers. Yeah, she wants to she wants to donate them to the museum too. I told her, well, get it all ready. When you get it ready, let me know. Uh -huh. <laughs> but isn't this interesting on the Elijah Toby house? <coughs> I just feel bad it's not there any longer. That would have been interesting. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, yeah, and the project on Perry Hill Road and Mendel Road is pretty much done. Yep. Uh, the Boy Scout came to my house uh, Sunday because I had to sign off, um, you know, for the Scouts, and they have to turn that in. Mm -hmm. So now that he'll be able to get his pin before the end of December, uh -huh. before he turns 18. Now that's the Eagle Scout. Right? Eagle Scout project. Yep. Now, it's looking good over there now. And I've got two more signs. Uh, I had ordered uh, two signs. One, we're, we're calling it the Perry Hill School Park. Mm -hmm. They put a picnic table. Did you see it? No, because somebody told me. Oh to my God, it. it's real rough, uh, like <coughs> sawmill stuff, you know, like chunks of trees. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, there's two benches and the picnic table. They had it made, they said somebody here in a push that makes them. I don't know who. I didn't know anybody had a sawmill still in the Kushnak. Mm -hmm. But that's where they got them from, and uh, they set them up out there. And um, the flower beds, everything's coming, the grass is all coming up. It looks good already. And they even put solar lights in, so it's all mm -hmm. dressed up. Mm -hmm. So it's coming along. That's another project down. I keep telling them, keep sending me your scouts. I got projects for them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In fact, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Kelly said to me, when you get those scouts coming along, he said, don't hesitate to push them my way because he said, I got a couple of projects too. And he said, I bet my projects are your projects. <laughs> I said, no doubt. <laughs> Now, Pauline, on yes. this letter, mm. I assume this is April of 23? Uh, 1823? 1823. Okay. Because mm -hmm. all it says is APR 23. All right. Okay. Okay. Now, I think this was, that was her, yep. the way she told me, her great great grandmother. Great <laughs> great great grandmother. Okay. See, her language goes back to the Coffin and Toby families. Mm -hmm. The picture and letter was sent to my great great grandmother, Carrie Ingram, which is in that letter. Yeah. Wife of David Ingram. David's sister, Mary Coffin Ingram, sent the letter and photo to Carrie so she would know about her family history. Mm -hmm. David and Mary were the great grandchildren of Dr. Elijah Toby. Mm -hmm. And they grew up in the family home in the Kushnet. Oh. Yeah. Sure yeah. Enough. She lives in San Francisco. That's where she lives. She's inherited a chunk of letters and pictures from her great grandmother. The house, yeah, she said, I'm guessing around 1880. Her doctor told me it was her sixth great grandfather. Mm -hmm. Six greats, if I'm counting correctly. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's a very interesting, really very interesting. Oh, cool. Okay, so another, another one of our projects. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and you, uh, we did get the uh, funding, you know, for the uh, roof. Um, 
on our patio at the museum mm -hmm. and also the sun windows. Mm -hmm. So they've already gone out there and they've measured every window and placed the order already. So I'm hoping they're going to get started on that and get those windows in, preserve a little bit of heat. Because those windows, the old windows inside, they rattle. You know, they're so loose. Yeah. Now, these new windows are the aluminum stone. Just stone right? windows. Okay. Now, this is an historical building. Okay. Can't touch the original now, window. I've got an old house. We've had stone windows. Mm -hmm. And they were wooden windows that had hinges. Yeah, And they yeah, hinged yeah. down over yeah. the... Uh, inside, rig, uh, the rig, the regular window. window. Yeah. And uh, that's what was considered a storm window. Yeah. Now, being a, a historical building, how does the aluminum and windows... Well, there's aluminum and windows on that building now. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was one of the reasons how I probably got away with that. Oh. Because we can't touch the inside window. That's the original. We cannot touch those windows. Well, what's, what's the aluminum in then? Well, the original, you said. The original window inside is wood. Right. This has already got replacement windows. Right, exactly. But up there, they're all the wooden windows. Right. Mm -hmm. But there's stone windows on the building already. Mm -hmm. They're just older than old. Okay, the stone windows on the building already are wood. No, aluminum. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right, I just got a history lesson. Yeah, <laughs> they're aluminum. I don't know how many years they've been up there, but I know they've been there long before I came in the picture. Yeah. Long before. Was that before it was deemed a historical building? I was the one that got the plaque on it, on the National Register. Right. I was the one that did all that paperwork. Okay. Yep, so stockings were point. there before. <laughs> okay, before before it was designated store. Oh yeah, long okay. before, long All right. before. I guess that's how they get away with it. And even the meeting house, uh, the meeting house has got the original window, a wooden window, and we had every one of those refurbished. Remember, mm -hmm. we had that guy from Rochester. Mm -hmm. He refurbished every one of those windows, and then we put some windows on there. So the meeting house has got some windows now. Okay. Protect that. Right. The refurbished the wooden windows, you know. Try to preserve them as long as we can. Now we need them on the church. The church is another story. I'm telling you, I got to fight for that church this year. Come springtime, man. We've got to. We got to get together here, and we got to fight for that church. Um. I was going to say. I heard that we have a new building inspector. They were supposed to introduce him on the selectmen's meeting, mm -hmm. and they didn't do it. Uh -huh. And they babbled off some name that I never heard of before, huh. so I don't know who he is. I have no idea who it is, and I don't know. All I know is they said he's retired, mm -hmm. um, retired gentleman. He doesn't need the town's insurance or anything like that. He's going to work five days a week, mm -hmm. and because uh, they, the last they told me with uh, the Fairy Hill Church, mm -hmm. he said to put it on hold and not do anything until we get our building inspector in place, so that he can work with us on that. Yep. You know, the only thing that scares me about that is because you know, in the beginning, it was always we got to have three bathrooms. There's not even room in there for one, so that means uh, that they would have to put an addition on, huh. you know? Yeah. It's going to cost money. It's going to cost money. The floor, no. right now, the, the main thing, the main concern right now is the, the underneath, to support that underneath of the building. Huh. And the only way they can do it is by lifting the floor that's there. That means all the pews have got to come out, yep. and they've got to lift that building up, take all that floor out. Mm -hmm. And then I had those uh, two guys that came to the uh, Apple Beach Festival that met up with me, and they were willing to donate all the wood that we need for the flooring in, that, in the church. 
So, you know, it's going to cost, uh, it's going to cost a pretty penny. And I've already talked to Old Colony, uh, I bet I had the um, gentleman that does the building, one that does the designing, mm -hmm. and electrician, the three of them, came down there to look at the building to see about what they could possibly do to like to make the bathrooms and that. Mm -hmm. And uh, the conclusion that they came to was probably going to have to put an addition along the back. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how about, you, do you have enough room for a septic system back there? Not much room. That's, That's yeah. another problem. I mean, the bathroom was one thing, but... Tank tank. That's what, uh, that's what Jim Merritt had mentioned to me years ago, was to put a tank tank in. Because the building wouldn't be but, used every day, every day, every but, day, you know? Yeah, it just has to be pumped more often <laughs> if it is used, yeah. 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 And I believe, Eric, you said there's gas in the street, right? At the corner of Mendel Road. At the corner of Mendel Road, there's no, gas. I, doesn't it go right down to Main Street? I was under that assumption. That because when I remember them digging... Because they went all the way out to Rochester Center. Right, it would be the other yeah. way, but I thought they also went down on... I would research that, but I think it comes up Mendel Road and ties into the center of Rochester, out by the library. I, I never could understand that. They did all of uh, Mendel Road, and from the tuxedo, the old plant cider mill, That's where north, there's no gas. No so gas. There was no customers. Huh? There was no customers. No customers on Main Street? Huh. Compared to Mendel Road? That's an example. Over where Pauline lives, I'll use that as an example. Yeah. I don't know the name of the development, but down that's uh, Second Street and Pershing Avenue. Uh, yeah, that Pershing Avenue. Avenue. Yeah. There's no gas in there either. Because in order to get the gas to those people, you'd have to go buy all existing homes. And the thing of it is, you living there and you living there and I living there, I already have an existing system. Yeah. Why would I want to change it and change spend 15, yeah. 20, 30,000 dollars to upgrade right. I think people had to commit yes. to changing yeah. to gas. Yes. And if they didn't commit, mm -hmm. well, that's why they, if there wasn't enough, mm -hmm. wasn't worth their while. Yeah. They told me that years ago about my street because we have no gas, oh. mm -hmm. no gas on Hamlin Street. Mm -hmm. It's at Middle Road and it's at Main Street, but it doesn't come down. Well, between between gas and oil and oh. everything else, it's all uh, a crapshoot. It is. <laughs> one, one is up here today, the other's down here, yeah. and back and forth. Yeah. And, oh Look at the gosh. gas in the, oh my god. Horrors. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm glad I have it. Yeah. And you've got a large house. You heat all, all floors? Well, not the third floor, but the two floors. The, the, the wood boils going right we, now. Yeah, we, have, we burn wood. Oh, you burn wood. We got oil, too. Yeah. We're not going, the oil goes on, but... Oil's expensive. Oh. <laughs> Last I heard, it was over five something a gallon. Well, we paid five oh two what a month ago. My daughter just filled up at five fifty a gallon. Oh, oh dear. dear. Oh. oh dear. Well, you know, the alternative is LP gas, and that's a, that's, that's the same price range. <laughs> And yet, uh, the one of the little boys that I take to school in Dartmouth, they live on Fonz Corner. They got a new home, and the house is all heated with uh, propane. What? The heat, uh, air condition, everything is propane. Huh? I don't know how that can be cheaper. Hmm? No. No. I have propane only for well, hot is, water. Is it a new home? Yeah. Well, yeah. maybe. About seven maybe, years old. Maybe it's one of these. Uh, uh, energy efficient design homes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it has to be north of Penny of uh, New Plainville Road. It's yeah. Well, that's why there's no gas. No. It comes up. It goes west on New Plainville Road, then south on Fonts Corner Road. South on Fonts Corner. Yeah. So it doesn't go the old Fonts Corner. No. 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 When you told me that they have propane, I said. <gasps> I have propane for just hot water, and I if they fill it up twice a year, and it's almost three hundred bucks. Huh. Okay. Can't win. No. 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 Cannot win. Nope. I know. It's, it's, you can try to conserve all you want, but you know something you can't be cold in your house. You know? 
you know. Yeah, not in my house anyways. No, no, he's always cold. Uh, yeah. yeah, and yeah. this week, cause this cold came in, man, it hasn't been good. Well, you know, it's not been good. We, we've been spoiled too long. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Right. I mean, we had a, um, some beautiful weather here. Yeah. Okay. Anything else under old or new business you'd like to talk about? You're going to talk about the book? The book I copied for you? Oh, yeah, the uh, uh, financial book of Perry Hill Church. Church. 18, what was it, 1823? I believe so, yes. 1823. My goodness. The book. You gave it to me. Oh, yeah. okay. From, uh, I was just going to say, yeah, yeah, just ring yeah. the bell there. That book is so interesting. Mm -hmm. We've gone through it page by page, but it's in poor shape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, Eric took the pictures of each page and put it on a disc. Oh. For us. So you can show the disc on a laptop. Yeah. You can change the pages, mm -hmm. but she still has the book and put it in storage so nobody will ever touch it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. If she wants to duplicate it, a place will do that for her. Okay. The book? Yes. That's what I told you the other day when I talked to you. I said, I have a place that will do that. I don't know, I don't know what the actual price is, but it would be on a page so that you would get it the exact same size as this. And if you wanted each one done on special uh, vellum or something like that, you could have it where they could touch it and actually turn it, which it wouldn't destroy it. Mm. I don't know what it would cost. I know it's... The guy is very reasonable. Really? Yes. You think about it. You told me yeah. not for a while. Yeah, because otherwise it's in the safe at the museum, locked up, because uh, mm -hmm. it's not in great shape. So I don't want it, you know, manhandled all the all the time. It's not there were a few pages missing. You were torn out. You told me that, yeah. Like maybe f four to six. That's about it. Wow. Well, two sides, yes. But imagine from 1823, and it lists all their meetings. Mm -hmm. It lists how much uh, donations came in. Un unbelievable! It was what a book. Yeah, I know. I put my nose in, and then it's unbelievable. Like I love that stuff. So, but anyways, okay. So yep. that's pretty much our meeting tonight. Uh -huh. um, I told Eric. I said might call it for December, January, and February. Goes going into the cold weather. Yep. And uh, we'll, we'll start. Hibernate. Huh? <laughs> we'll hibernate. We'll hibernate and start again in March. That's what usually what we do with this society. Sure. Well, uh, we got. I got a meeting Thursday night, and then December, January, February, cool it. No, not too much fun coming out at night in the dark. <laughs> no, no, not exactly. In the cold. Yeah. Oh my God! Wasn't it cold this morning? Twenty-three when I got up. Oh. Yeah. Speaking of the dark, here's a trivia question for you. What political figure in Massachusetts, when he was serving in the legislature, had the nickname of the Prince of Darkness, and why? That's the one. That's the alpha. Why did they call him that? Who was it? They're talking about Secretary of State Galvin, because when he was a state rep, he would stay at the uh, in the you know the legislative building there, working well into the night, long after everybody else had gone home, and so they nicknamed him the Prince of Darkness. Oh wow! Meet you up. That's Bill Galvin. We'll go talk to him. Get some prices. That's Galvin. Yeah. The way you want and he has is serving now Should longer than will, any yeah? person in history, yes. uh, Secretary of State. On the left, as you and the guy this. knows his stuff. Oh yeah. He really, really, really seems to, anyway. He's, <laughs> he's right on the ball, as far as I know. He is. He's great. He's good. Yeah, I wonder what it would cost. He's probably the most you experienced know? in I the guess. country. I was going to go and do it you myself. Know, that I said, yeah. don't do it. You want nobody touching it. And we said, we want no individual touching the book. So I just want to copy the book. But I do have some extra copies if you need <laughs> <laughs> You can touch the book anytime you want. <laughs> yep. Uh, it's just that it's in not in very good shape. Not in very good shape. Okay. Well, if that's going to be it, yep. uh, I did have put so down the meeting December twentieth, but I think we're going to just cool it for the rest of the year. <laughs> Bless you. you. Thank Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Yep. All right. Can I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to so adjourn. moved.
Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Yep. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you.